Hello everybody, welcome back to Railway Empire. I'm Tenacious Viking, your chief engineer, I found out as my title, and host. Um, well, it took me a while to play around with this, but I figured out how to, uh, how to erase my planning. You basically get out of planning mode and then this uh, trash can will light up and you can clear it there. So um, now let me go, I think I want to go this way, kind of through here. How, how close oh, I can get that close well that's kind of cool I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna go around here kind of close to this maybe right here about and uh, and then I'll connect to North Platte there we go. Now I'm going to pay for that. See, now I could clear the planning or I could pay and do it. So now I know that. Ooh, I got a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Those politicians in Washington get on one's nerves. But now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection. But a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. But for this you have to know what goods a city actually needs. You can find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. Okay, I don't see any demand. Uh, I got passengers and mail. Um, oh, there we go. Breweries. Okay. So they need grain to make beer, and then they'll probably need to, I don't know, maybe they just need to drink the beer themselves. I'm not sure. Um,. As you can see, Cheyenne ah, currently needs only a handful of goods, and you can only deliver goods that are in demand. As the city grows, it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available to the north of Cheyenne. Grain and wood. Oh, okay. Connect Cheyenne to a timber business and a wheat farm and establish a new rail line that connects them both to Cheyenne. Connect Cheyenne to a timber business and a wheat farm. Well, I wonder if I can do that all at once. Do you suppose it will connect to both? Probably not, huh? Shift, rotate. Got to do two of them, huh? Shoot. Um. No. Do I have to do? I'd like to do one track. I think I can do that right here. Yeah. Um, down here, maybe a little bit that way. Okay. So now I think I have to connect this track to this. Uh, interesting. Following applies to alter the larger the station, the shorter the loading and unloading times will be, and the more rail tracks will be available. Okay, so let me increase this one so there's extra. I don't know if I need to do extra track or not. I, I really don't. I, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna take my life in my hands here. I have no idea where Cheyenne is anymore either. Oh, it's right here. So I gotta do. Got it. I might as well do one of these, huh? Hopefully I can go... Well, it's not going to let me do that, is it? Oop, there. Okay. So... 
So I don't know if I can do a train that'll stop at both places, I suppose. Maybe I can do that. That would be kind of sweet, wouldn't it? Uh, let's try that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, and then see what happens here. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not messing this up really badly. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well no. done. The city will soon grow. You can see how well it is being supplied at any time in the city dialogue. Basically, a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met. I think you have learned enough. Complete the rest of your tasks. Okay, now see that filled up with grain, so I don't know if I need a separate train to uh, to get wood there or, or wood. Also, I want a passenger train uh, between North Platte and uh, and uh, uh, Cheyenne. And I'm probably going to have to do some manipulation there. Uh, I also am going to want a maintenance uh, shed here because I don't have any maintenance there otherwise. Uh, there's no train going back. But now I have to do this... I have to figure this out. They're coming out with a tutorial on these signals. And, um, yeah. What, what does it mean, build multiple signals? I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. I just build a series of them. Um... This has to rotate, I believe. Okay, so that should take care of it. Um, I think I need to upgrade, definitely, to uh, two tracks. And, um, boy, I might even double track all the way out there, you know? just I just might. I'm gonna go out a ways and then and then curve that in. And I, I don't know if it'll automatically pick the available uh, track there or if it's gonna be a big problem. <laughs> uh, so let me see. It'll tell me if um, it'll tell me if I did something really really bad. Okay, that I know. Oh, okay, it's taking mail and passengers up there, and I don't want it to do that. So I wonder now if I can um, manage the train. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to, to tell it now to, uh, to only pick up those. Things that I, uh, real cars. There we go. Okay. No dining car. No, no refrigerator car. No uh, refrigerator car, maybe no meal car. Uh, I don't know. remove. Is that added or is that removed? I don't know which... I don't know what it is. Oh, this is the North Platte of Cheyenne. Well, I don't want that one. That's not the one I wanted. Give me that. 
Give me the one I wanted. Uh, wait, brown. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so maybe that was right then. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell what train it was. I didn't, I wasn't paying enough attention. I'm dumb. Okay. All right, that's what I wanted. Okay, so I'm good. I don't know if it's getting any wood, however. Uh, that concerns me a bit. Cook, chopping, brown, preserve. All right. Now, is it going to pick up wood there and try to bring it to... Um, But it's, it's going to keep just... I'm going to have to do two trains. I'm going to have to double track this because that's ridiculous. I don't know. I wonder if it's... Yeah, it's just going to fill up with just grain every time. I need a second train, but then I have to... Um, I have to be able to sideline one of them here. <laughs> and I've got a hill. I guess I have to build a siding here, huh? Or do I have to do parallel track? I don't want to do parallel track. That would be a pain. So I'm going to do um, a parallel track here. Nope. There. And then... I have to build that first, I guess. Then I can build. Come on! It doesn't want to do that. I have to get a double, double click everything. I don't like that. There we go. Okay, now, how did we do <laughs> the signals? Uh, I think we had to do... Okay, and that's construct a directional signal. And then here, we rotate that and construct a directional signal. Yeah, they made this a little easier now. Okay, so I think this will work. Let me let me check the train. Make sure that that works. And then I'll build a second train. Now I wonder if I can delete that uh, from the clone the train. I want to clone it. Oh. Can I take out that stop? And how would I do that? Hmm. But out of water, I'm gonna have to, yeah, it's not it's not getting the, the supplies it needs. So come here. I to put up a double Yeah. I have to put it somewhere where there's single track. I was hoping that I could uh There, I can put it there. It's gonna slow down traffic, but oh well. I, I don't know how to... Oh, okay, it's it's just doing brown preserve to Cheyenne. It's not, it's not st stopping at... It's not stopping at, uh, at whatever this cook, cutting, chopping is. So, um, I'm going to close that and the train from here to 
Cheyenne, and see how busy I can make this track. No oh boy, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a problem, I think. Come on, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, let's center on this. Let's see how this does. See, this is right there, so I don't know that we'll need to to stop. It probably stop when it comes back. Then I hope. And I think the reason you put it at that end there, it'll stop there then and wait if there's another train coming. Now I wonder if those two trains will both come in and unload and make the passenger train from North Platte wait. Hmm. That would be interesting. Okay, unloading. And back it goes. Oh, we yeah. have supply station here, don't we? Uh, hmm, that's quite a trip, too, isn't it? Let's put it between those two, maybe, huh? No, I don't want to do that. I want to put it here. All right, let's do that. Supply tower, right about here. Okay. They, uh, I thought that they would be able to resupply at the, um, at the, at the uh... <laughs> everything stopped why I thought uh... I thought you were dead. um... Hmm. um... I've got a city st oh a city station? Sacramento? I don't want to be in Sacramento Select the city dialog. Yeah, we'll have to do that. The demand for imported good beer has been reduced as the maximum stock level has been reached. Okay. That's good to know, I guess. I don't know. We'll have a Norfolk. How are we doing here? We're not centering either. Um, probably because I have this up. We got lots of... And I don't even know what the task list is. And I see now I have to connect to Denver, and I don't have time for that. 16 loads of cattle to Denver. Okay. We will do that. I've, I've done this before. Um, and don't know if I was doing it right, but I did it. So let's build a station there then, I guess. And... Um, there. Is this... Ah, uh, yes. One more thing. Your company has also a research department to help you unlock new locomotives and other innovations. Open the research dialog to find out more about it. Oh. Okay. Here you will find the advances that can be achieved in the current era. Advances from previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. For each advance, you require innovation points, which you get automatically each month, and which can be increased in various ways. Now, take a look around here, and then unlock an innovation of your choosing. How about a new locomotive? Well, that would be fun. I, no, I can't do that. Or this one. You need to unlock three more innovations. Counter pressure brakes, steel wheel tires, Tachograph. Unlocked neighbor. I have no idea what that means. Okay. Express trains. Oh, new locomotive. Yeah, I can do that one. Okay. Sure. All right. 60 more innovation points. Okay, I'm getting 40 per month, so I'll get uh, wait for some more inf uh, Whatever I said. Innovation. Sidetrack. I did build a sidetrack. Uh, 
and two trains going to start their journey because they might collide on this same stretch of tra uh, rail. Um, yeah, we, well, we got that. Uh, I don't know why it's telling me that. I've already done that. It's, you know, and I tried to put it there and it wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know that. My opponents say I'm lining my own pockets. These are, of course, hideous lies. And look at it this way. With the profits I'm making, I can invest much more. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Hmm, where have you heard that before? All right. Uh, tracks to Denver. Oh, well, we don't want to do well. I don't want to turn that much. There, we'll try that and that. Now I need, I think the, um, yeah, the cattle that I need is over here. So that's going to be what I do next, but that's going to have to wait till next time because I'm out of time this time. Next time I'll connect uh, cattle to Denver and then deliver meat to uh, Cheyenne and that'll, uh, that'll fulfill uh, one of these, uh, two of these uh, tasks. Now, I don't know what this is. Oh, engine shed. Okay. Special type of axle suspension on this locomotive offers the advantage that the drive wheels can also be steered, combining a high driving force with good performance on bends. That must be, that's the new, uh, that's the new locomotive. I, I could change that, but I don't want to right now because I got too many other things. Should I replace a locomotive? Let's do it. Let's replace the locomotives. Yeah. I assume that's all of them. I don't know. I have no idea. I'll have to check and see, but that'll have to wait till next time. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome new subscribers. I appreciate you ever so much. And join me next time when Tenacious Viking plays Railway Empire. Look at those trains moving. Ooh.